What's up guys? Last day of June. Heading into July tomorrow. 90 degrees. Famously hot Columbia, South Carolina. Down in Columbia again. When you think of Columbia, South Carolina, there's there's several staples that you think about. Um, you know, mostly uh, the Vista and Five Points. Five Points with group therapy, the Fountain, St. Patrick's Day, you know, Hootie and the Blowfish come to mind. Um, University of South Carolina. Um, a lot of a lot of old business and a lot of new business. A lot of new restaurants and bars have popped up over time with a lot of old ones going out like yesterday's that closed down recently. Um, but one that has stood the test of time is the Village Idiot. Village Idiot Pizza is synonymous with going to USC. Uh, you know, used to have Dollar Slice Night back in the day before the beer market change. You could go in and get two slices of pizza and a couple beers for like five bucks. Um, now I think it's a dollar fifty slice night, which is still a hell of a deal. I mean, you know, you go into a gas station paying damn near three dollars for a Hunt Brothers piece, you get a, a handmade uh, slice for a dollar fifty. <clears throat> Let me show you these slices. Let's see if I can get them in the camera. That's a pretty good size slice right there handmade roll up lunch special you can get two slices of pizza and a tea for like six bucks or a slice a greek salad and a drink for six bucks i'm gonna tell you if you're eating inside get that greek salad it's it's it's, it's solid it's one of the best i'm in the car so i didn't want to get you know the greek dressing and and onions and peppers everywhere all over the truck but so what i did do I got one each, a cheese and a house special. Cheese, pretty self-explanatory. House special, meats, along with onions, uh, bell peppers, and, and black olives. Two healthy slices. And then on the way out, you can get your own condiments, Parmesan cheese, crushed red pepper, oregano, whatever you like on your pizza. I'll throw a little Parmesan on here. Throw a little crushed red on here as well. All right. So I'll be first to tell you, I'm not a pizza aficionado. I don't talk about how the crust is made or is it Chicago or New York or Neapolitan. I just like what I like. I found like in the hot dog deal that I can get a, a hot dog a lot of times from a bait and tackle store that's better than a gourmet hot dog. And I think it's probably the same with pizza. Village Idiot stood the test of time for years and years here at USC. Um, actually, I'm at the uh, mill, Olympia Mill location, as you can probably see in the background there. Old mill, they turned into like housing for USC students. <clears throat> There's another one down in Five Points, of course. This is the uh, spinoff of it right here on Whaley Street. So. First of all, I'm gonna go with the cheese. Big flop, thin crust. Got a black olive on there, accidentally. Good pizza, man. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what I'm supposed to compare it to. That's good pizza. Thin, good flavor, no no grease dripping off of it. Good crust. Crispy on the crust. Not crispy on the on the main part there. That's a good piece of cheese pizza. I mean, factoring everything in, you're paying like two bucks, 250 for a slice, a big slice of pizza. It's good, oh yeah. Sweet tea, it's up there. Better than average sweet tea as well. That's always a bonus. Go to the half special. It's heavy. A lot of black olives.
Good pizza. Good sauce. Fresh ingredients. The meat, cheese is good. The vegetables are fresh, crispy, crunchy. You can probably hear that crunch. Hard to beat. So, like I said, not a pizza aficionado. Eat, eat, eating pizza all over the country. Since I've started the channel, I really hadn't had many, many pizzas of pizza. I know on the Barstool guys, nine and above is elite. Everything above seven, five serviceable. So just by going by his, his rating scale, for me, good pizza, good taste, um, good value. I mean, two slices of pizza, sweet tea for six bucks. I mean, that's schoolhouse prices. And it's fresh, handmade, right in front of you. Not been sitting under a light for hours on the end. And it's nostalgic. I mean, Village Idiot's been around for generation after generation. It's probably legacies of USC graduates from granddad down to grandson that's, that's had a, a cold draft beer and a dollar slice at the Village Idiot. So for me, from the limited education I have on pizza, I'm not gonna put it in a nine category because I don't know if it's elite of elite. Like some of the New York pizzas or Chicago pizzas. But I really like it. I really appreciate the value. Uh, it tastes fresh. The ingredients are good, easy to eat. So I'm gonna go with eight, four, whatever that means to anybody. Basically, in my terms, six bucks, two pieces of pizza, and a tea. Piece of pizza, Greek salad and tea, six bucks. Hell of a value, good pizza. I'll eat both, I'll eat it again. It's a good place. I'd recommend you try it if you haven't. If you have, pull up, drink your beer, eat you a couple slices. It's a good deal. Village Idiot Pizza, Whaley Street, five points. Give it a look if you hadn't. And like, subscribe, share this page. We're getting close. So all I need is another month or so of good views and we'll get some monetization. We'll start doing some giveaways, throw away some gift cards, whatever we can do to promote the channel. Anyway, y'all have a great week. Have a good July tomorrow. We'll see you then.